Welcome to PC Gaming Tech Summary. I'm your host, Gamer. And today we look at Starfield and where you can farm rare organic items at your outpost. Well, yes, you do need to build an outpost. And uh, I'll go through what you need. And if you're an expert, well, I'll start with the locations and the items. Um, and then through the video, I will move to more and more basic stuff. So if you are a beginner, you can get something from this video. Sit right back, have a cup of coffee, and we'll get into it. We are in the Fermi system, which is in the top right of your galaxy map. And we're going to a moon called Fermi 7A. And there is no planet plants to discover. It's only some primordial uh, fauna animals. Okay, if you want, you could build your outpost, mine palladium at the same time, or nickel and cobalt. Okay, we're at animal husbandry now, and you get memory substrate, the rare item here. Okay. It's the only place that I've found it so far. On this moon, it does not have water, does not have fiber, so you're going to have to bring it in yourself or do cargo links which can lag your game so fiber and water so we're gonna head over from the fermi strix area which is in the top right corner of the galaxy map we're gonna come make a diagonal line down to the left okay and we're gonna go to beta turnian okay so that's by surma and anil in fact here's a tip at anil i have found some alien uh areas where you can mine the uh the rare ore so, um, anyways, let's head to Beta Turnian. Okay, gravity 1.34, a little bit better. And if you want to mine palladium, you can do that. So at the Beta Tertian 2 planet, we've got a greenhouse, and we can do hallucinogen, metabolic agent, spice, and stimulant. So there's not many, a lot of locations with stimulant. So there's one. And we've got pigment with uh, fiber and seal it. So you need fiber to make the pigment and uh, you probably would, wouldn't want to make sealant because like I said you can do that at greenhouses. Strix and Fermi down to Beta Ternian and now we'll just move over to the left to Masada system and Masada 3. There we go. At the greenhouse on Masada 3, you've got amino acids, anti antimicrobial, hypercatalyst, so that's fairly rare. 
um, nutrient and structural. That atom of husbandry, we've got membrane. Okay, and that's taking nutrients. Okay, so Fermi was level 75. In order to um, go to that planet, and Alpha uh, Beta Turian, 40, level 40, you can go there at level 40. And Masada is level 75. So next, what do we got? Let's go to Al Batani over here to the left. So it's, oh, what's this? Oh, yeah, we'll leave that one. We're going to go to Al Batani. So that's level 35. And Al Batani 2. At the greenhouse at on Al Batani is only adhesive. You cannot do animal husbandry, so that's it. You just do um, adhesive with water. That's all you need, and then um, dysprosium you can mine as well. Which is just over here in my base. Let's see it, it's quite bright. Well, since I mentioned Shoza, we'll go there next. It's just up above here from Al Batani. And we'll go to number three. From the greenhouse on Shoza 3, got hallucinogen, metabolic agent, nutrient, sealant, and toxin. At Shoza 3 and animal husbandry, we have adhesive, aromatic. So adhesive, you need nutrients. Aromatic is fiber, metabolic agent you can do on Greenhouse, nutrients, sealant, and structural. So a lot of those you can do on different greenhouses, um, but there you have it. Next we go from Shoza to Schrodinger. Okay. And we're going to go to... Schrodinger 3. So why my heart is beating and everything I may have mentioned. Um, I'm over encumbered. I'm carrying about 1.3 kilos with me. Um, so that basically keeps me from fast traveling. I have to run or walk everywhere. Okay, Schrodinger's free greenhouse. We've got analgesic, metabolic agent, nutrient, and toxin. Schrodinger three animal husbandry. Luxury textiles. So there's a rare item right there. Okay, and you need nutrient for that. You can also do sedative using fiber. And toxin you can get at greenhouses. From Schrodinger, which is near Crix, we're going to go, um, Schrodinger is level 65, and we're going to go to Bardeen, which is level 70. So 
So it doesn't matter the size of the greenhouse. Um, you can make all of these at any of the greenhouses uh, on this outpost, on this planet or moon. Um, okay, so analgesic, Bardeen 3, um, cosmetic, lubricant, nutrient, sealant, and toxin. You got quite a few choices there. Animal husbandry on Bardeen 3. Um, with fiber, you can make amino acids and the rare gastro delight using fiber. Okay. Metabolic agent um, and sealant. Those you can you, you, you can get those in greenhouses. From Bardeen, we're gonna go down to the Cheyenne system. Okay. Go into the Cheyenne system. Once we're there, we'll zoom in because it's very crowded. And what have we got? We've got Kodos. The Moon Kodos. In the greenhouse on Kodos, you can do analgesic and solvent. Nice. No animal husbandry. From the Cheyenne system, we are going to go come down and go next to Olympus, to the Linnaeus system. On Linnaeus 2, the greenhouse here has fiber and high tensile spidruin. At animal husbandry sealant fiber. No. Okay, from Millennius, uh, we're going to go back over here to the right to Zeto Ofici. I don't think we've done that one yet. Number one. 0.79G. Okay, here on Zeta three from the greenhouse fiber metabolic agent nutrient polymer so that's a good one good rare one and sealant see you can get sealant here at a greenhouse and metabolic agent animal husbandry at zeta three metabolic agent sealant Sealant, spice, so you can do spice. Be, be all right, be fiber for that. Okay, from Z Zeto O Fiji. Uh, I missed one over here on the bottom right, or called Zelansny. Zelansny, okay. Three. And there's cesium on this planet. Um, tungsten. All right. At the greenhouse here on Zelazny 3, we have hallucinogen, immuno stimulant immunostimulant yes that's the rare one membrane that's good nutrient and structural that's the Lanzi 3 animal husbandry we have metabolic agent nutrient sealant structural and toxin from the bottom right where Zelazny is 
We're gonna go to the top left. We'll go clear over here. This one. Alpha addressed addressed. Alpha addressed. And three. This is a level 30 system. Um, and at the greenhouse, we have biosuppressant, so that's rare. Lucinogen and sealants. So all you need is water. At Alpha Adraced 3, Animal Husbandry, we have Sedative. Okay, you need fiber for that. Okay, that's the end of the rare items for the day. I'm just going to go over some basics for people that are rather new. Just going to um, show how to collect um, the scans for... Uh, fauna and flora, fauna animals, flora plants. Um, I'm going to go to the Vega system. It's a level 25, so um, not too difficult to get to level 25. Um, and uh, we're going to go here to Vega 2C. Um, so you can see on the left, uh, under fauna and flora, there is some. Um, and I have not scanned any of those, marginal 7, marginal 5. Okay, so it is 0.72 gravity, which is great. It's more fun to fly around there. Okay, so I just did a scan of the planet, have a look at the different biomes. Um, so if we just click here, First of all, we have to fly there, so we'll go there. Okay, and we'll just look for a landing place. So brown is plateau, and 0% means we haven't found anything there yet. If it was 100%, then we found everything in that area. Gray here is coniferous forest. This will be frozen volcanic at the poles and you may get some on a beach on the coast so I actually like to start off on the coast uh, somewhere if there is an ocean here which it looks like there may not be no, no ocean okay so we don't have to worry about that plateau here on brown and coniferous forest on the gray. So I'll just go to the edge of the plateau, see what that looks like. Weather may be hazardous. Just check it out. Oh, there's quite a big windstorm going on, sandstorm. So we want to, ideally, we want to scan at night, anyways. So inside my ship, Clash C ship. Um, I've got workbenches and things in here, as well as place to sleep. Okay, so you can just uh, jump up on top of your ship. Uh, the weather doesn't seem to be harming me at the moment. I just sprained myself. Um, let me just fix that up. OK. OK, 
Okay, we turn on our scanner, and we want to look for blue, 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 blue. Green means we've already scanned it. So um, another strategy you can do is you can actually shoot the, the animals without having to get up close to them. Um, that also helps you work on your, your other skills, your other perks. Okay. Okay, so it's gone from blue to green, so now they're fully scanned. Okay. And you can see under the survey on the left side of the screen, it says survey, one out of seven fauna. Okay, we've got six more to get, five plants. Keep doing that. I don't know if this animal is dangerous or not, but Okay, we can start scanning things um, and um, bring out your scanner with F on the PC and then um, you can fly above them even. If you get close enough, then press E and that scans them. minerals you want to scan as well. So that plant has been scanned. Okay, it shows where you can find it. Etc, etc. Same with the animals. I found a few more of those creatures on the ground running around. Um, so now I've completed the scans. And what you, what you can do then is you put down um, a small greenhouse and then put down a small animal husbandry. And then you can check to see what you can create. Okay, so just sort of basic stuff here. The husbandry, now let's check the greenhouse. So all common, nothing special. Okay, destroy it and on to the next one. So as I go in here, I'll show you how to um, get your skill points and level up quickly. Hi, Captain. Where are we going? Okay, so you want to come to the industrial workbench. Okay, if it doesn't let you onto it, um, you can try um, taking your weapon out of your holster, then try it. If you have trouble sitting, the same t thing, take the weapon out of the holster, and then you should be able to sit. Um, but with this, if you can't use the workbench, you can do a save, 
and then load that save and then see if that fixes it as well. Okay. So adaptive frames, we need aluminum and iron. So what you do is you do a few few perks. So um, if we have a look at the aid, you've got like alien T, so that's gonna boost your experience points by two percent for fifteen minutes. You can go do that, and then you can go and take a quick nap, which will then add a bit more. One hour nap, and then that adds some more, increases your experience points you when you do crazy. this. Okay. Hopefully we can get back in here. Oh, what do you know? Let's see, take my weapon out. There, that worked. Okay. So, click on adaptive frame. Um, slide this over to 99. You want to have this at the end. And basically, you press E and then click your mouse to fill it up. And you do this quickly. And you can see the experience points go up well, over a thousand now. You hear that sound? So that's that's the level up. Okay, so I just leveled up. So that's how you do it. Well, you may have heard that my channel got tanked. Uh, I won't go into any details about that right now, but um, if you can support the channel with a thumbs up, a like, a uh, subscribe, that would be fantastic. I'm not asking for money. I don't have a Patreon or anything like that. So I uh, appreciate your help. And um, thanks again for joining us here on PC Gaming Tech Summary. And don't forget, you'll be seeing me in the next video.